Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the shed. I am Lonnie. Hey, good morning. I'm Candace. Welcome back. Well, uh, Candace, yesterday we had one of our better sales days in quite a while. Yeah, especially for a midweek day. And man, it bombed last night. Yeah, yesterday, well, we, we took y'all's advice to uh, do the old end and then sell similar. And we did that to how many items? 135. Yeah, we ended and sold similar 135 things. And then we have one of our best, our no, our worst sales days in a while. In a while yeah. That would immediately following our bet, which I'm sure was just coincidence. What but, did we do? Oh my gosh! We but y'all y'all ruined our store. No, I'm kidding. Y it's I don't. a conspiracy. <laughs> <laughs> they were trying. They got us. They finally got us. <laughs> but um, no, we we did uh we did do the end and then sell some other thing, but then we were. We we're thinking like we have a lot of stuff on um like sale like promotion sale and typically we'll do that by how long it's been on the site but doing this ending and sell similar thing you lose that you lose that original start date of when you originally listed it so if we're going to continue to also run sale promotions then we're going to have to come up with some new strategy for that yeah which may even be as simple as just manually going through it and, and just kind of picking it. and choosing yeah. right so that's going to change which might even be a better way to do it anyway i don't know or maybe by things that don't have watchers or low amount of something i don't know right views that that's the other thing too because mm -hmm. uh, we're thinking of the the potential pitfalls of ending and then selling similar you will lose, as opposed to relisting, you lose your, um, you lose watchers. Yeah. So anybody that's watching, but I mean, really after a- At this a, point, if they haven't bought yeah. it, you know? <laughs> right, like, uh, sure, I'm not gonna say it doesn't happen because somebody will give me a, an example of when it did. Yeah. But Candace, how often have you clicked watch on an eBay listing? There's some now I need to go unwatch because it was when I was trying to decide what to buy somebody for Christmas and I kind of just I, like watched them just so I could go back and make a decision. Right. Know? Well, how often do you like click watch on something and then more over a month later you go back and buy it? Well, I, I, I haven't. Um, I have had where someone sent an offer and my husband accepted it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I thought I thought it was our, our thing for sale. <laughs> Oh man! Oh, you mean where you were? What? Yeah, where I watched something and the the seller sent us the best offer, and Lonnie thought somebody was accepting one of our best offers. So I had accept. he accepted it, so he bought me something I was watching. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty. That's slick. Huh? Now that I think about it, I think she was executing some kind of psyop against me or something. <laughs> there, I don't know what was going on. And then not too long, not too too long after that. Um, we sent offers out on stuff and one of the things was we have like a what we think is an expensive uh american girl doll nobody else does yet <laughs> we've had a couple of people messages about it but no takers but you, you remember when i sent offers out and then the lady accepted the offer she thought it was the scenario we had yes she thought that she she was a seller and she thought she had sent out an offer and somebody was accepting her offer yes she had the same doll we did and she she was like overjoyed she's i, I felt like she immediately sent in the cancel request can you imagine you think you've sold it and oh wait i just bought it <laughs> yeah, can, can you imagine like yeah like she's like yes i finally sold that molly doll yes 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 and then she's like oh crap and then she had to go and um so like we were very nice to her because i i completely understood yeah. because we had just done it so yeah. um we are i think we are going to do some potentially interesting things today i hope so um so yeah it is friday in addition to um sales not being great there's also no garage sales this morning wah, wah. yeah there's like one we may run over um two and um there was like maybe two in baton rouge and two in the gonzalez area just not worth going out but candace did get an email from uh, someone um about coming to um look at some stuff they have it's hey it's a private pick 
Tell him it's a private pick. Shh, it's a private pick. <laughs> it's a private pick from uh, with, with a viewer yeah. who we we have uh, we've actually seen her like out and about, out and about, probably often, yeah. what a dozen times or so. Yeah. So she probably thinks we're following her. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna go take a look at some stuff over there, and uh, we might we might show y'all some of that stuff later. I'm sure we're gonna buy something. I yeah. just don't know how much of it we're gonna buy. Right. I think she has a pretty good bit of electronics though. Yeah. So, uh, well, we do have to ship the five orders that yeah. we sold. We do. These people want their stuff. They gave us their money. So let's go ahead and pull those orders. Okay. All right, Candace, let her rip. Let's go. All right, um, on 7 Bravo, it's an Imperial Plastic Tiger. Really? So it's not this one, because I'm not on 7 Bravo yet. But we have another Tiger there. Okay. We did have two. I don't know if the other one's old. 7 Bravo. Yeah, we do. Uh-huh. Well, I wasn't going to pick... Get sassy with me. No, I wasn't uh -huh. going to... I wasn't going to pick it up. I was just noticing, hey, there's another Tiger there. I can't pass up a cool Tiger. That's a big Tiger, too. Yeah, they're really cool. I should probably keep the other one. Uh, no, it's like one of the few things in our whole shed that sold. We have to keep no, it open. No, the other one. I know, that's that what I'm saying. Touched. Oh, I did touch it. It's going to sell, so if you're going to do that, you better hurry. Okay. Man, this guy's big and heavy. Okay, I like them. Okay. Yeah, that sold for uh, $9.99 plus shipping. Oh, Imperial. Yeah. Made, this one's made in China. And we sold another Danbury Mint ornament. Okay, which one is it? D7. D7 Swan Boat. Yeah, that's it. Man, that is fancy. $14.99. Cool story. The person that bought this, their last name, also Swan. <laughs> I'm not going to give like any more information about them, but I thought, I think that's okay to share, right? Mm -hmm. $14.99 plus ship? Yeah. Okay. 10 Charlie, we sold a pencil sharpener. Another one. So we have, we have one, left. one left back there. Yep. $14.99. Oh, okay. The other one, I, oh, the other one I think we sold on like a, uh, must have sold on like a 10% offer or something like that. I think I might throw in. Some pencil? Where are they? I think I have some in my desk actually. Okay, yeah, we have some boxes of pencils. We might throw a box of pencils in with that order. Let's see, we'll go with this. We'll, we'll throw them some, uh, we'll throw in some pencils with that order too. We, we, we had pencils coming out of our ears we were trying to sell, and eventually we just ended up trying to sell them in a garage sale, and then eventually we gave most of them away. Yeah. And then Candace did keep some. I did. All right, on five Echo uh, NES cartridge slalom. Five. Slalom. Five Echo. That's down here. Okay, it's in this little box. Got it. $9.99. $9.99 plus shipping on top. All right. I think we got one more thing, huh? All right. On 8 Charlie, it's a Monster High accessory. Abby Abominable's bed. It's like a silver blue color. It's right here. It's yeah. got some kind of little bag of accessories yes. on top of it. $12.99 for that. Okay. That is everything that I've got to pack up. I'm going to go ahead and get this done. And then I guess we'll head over to uh, to go look at that stuff for the private pick. <laughs> okay, y'all, we are at the uh, the private pick, the private pick. Now <laughs> I'm whispering it because it's secret. Don't tell anybody. But um, Beverly doesn't. She's not too crazy about being on camera herself, but she did say that we could film here, which I really appreciate because I know that's going to be interesting for a lot of y'all. But first of all, let me show y'all how cool this storage is. Check that out. Like when I went, when I came over here to it, I've, I, you know what, Beverly? I don't think I've ever seen a storage unit this big. <laughs> is it really a 10 by 30? It's 10 by 30. It looks bigger. It does. I think the way she has it organized on Skype. Yeah. yeah. And what, one thing Beverly was showing me, which is I thought was really cool, she has her shelves and then and you see they're all it's all it looks like it's it looks like organized chaos right that's exactly what it is that's a good way to describe it right there like 
It's organized. It's chaotic looking at first, but then when you look a little closer, it's actually organized and uh, labeled and all that kind of stuff. But then all this stuff right here, if you look at this a little more closely, she bought these. She bought these cool looking, uh, these cool little platforms with wheels. And y'all know how I feel about putting wheels on things. I'm all for it. <laughs> I think it's awesome. Look at this. This is amazing. And yeah, everything. So in, if she needs to get to something right there. All she got to do is pull this out. The whole thing will move. And then grab her thing and she can push it back. That's a smart way to maximize space. You have a lot of... You have got a lot of stuff in here, Beverly. Way too much. That's all right. We're gonna we'll lighten your load a little bit, but I don't yeah. think I don't think you're gonna even notice how much we bought. <laughs> we come back. Yeah, we might have to come back again, huh? Well, I can be a regular source. You can absolutely. We need a source right now. So uh, Beverly was kind enough to invite us over here today, uh, and she actually pulled specific things out for us to go through which candace is doing now just I thought you were like that with them gauges <laughs> uh I, you know i'm a sucker for those but they don't sell i know nobody they, else they, they don't, as much as you do i know i love them <laughs> <laughs> these candace saw these these are some really nice steak knives yeah like they're there's the heft look at that is that called Look, some, somebody's going to know more than me in the comments, but is that called full tang when it goes all the way through like that? I think it yeah. is. And the, like, I can't figure out the maker. It's an F and a square on the uh, blade there. We'll be able to find that. There's websites to look those up. Beverly just said they're old knives. Actually, that's probably who you bought them from. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Bibles. Those are always decent. And uh, the Old West uh, books. Yeah. Yeah. 19 volumes. Yeah, I've, I've done those before. These, these are cool. Yep. Those look interesting. I think we're probably going to buy these for sure. And I like, I was hoping this was a chess set. That's I cool really looking, was. Huh? It's Yeah, it's a beautiful looking little set. Yeah. Check it out. It's got backgammon on the inside. It only has one little battery. Battery. Uh, battery dice. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, hmm, I'm missing something. That's probably not even the original. I mean, it that's could it. Be. look how little it is. Yeah, I wish it had more parts or whatever, but the, the board itself is, man, that's awesome. Yeah. Uh, some old toys down here, and then she also set aside, oh, look, Super Mario Sunshine. That's a good game. I think you knew that. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Bunch of games in here. Oh, there's a uh, little DS with Hannah Montana in it. And a bunch of other games. PSP games. Oh, you do have a. You do actually have a backgammon set here. That's just something I sell. Do you ever sell these? I haven't. You haven't ever sold backgammon sets? Okay. It, I may have one. I'm not sure. Yeah. Okay. And then, let's see, we've got a keyboard, Pet Spy. And then there's a bunch of, I'm kind of going through these cameras already. There's uh, some Sonys and some JVCs and some Panasonics. Um, I've also already set aside, I am buying, there's a Wii in a, with a box here. There's a Wii without a box there. And there's a lot of controllers and stuff over here too. So we're going to keep on going through this. Oh, one other thing that I know we're buying for sure right now. Uh, Beverly has a set of... Callaway Big Bertha clubs here. And they're, I want to say they're the same line. Same exact line we bought just the other day at a garage sale. It looks like a full set of these Callaway Big Bertha irons. And it looks like some drivers and stuff too. Look, she. Most of them I'm willing to go pretty cheap on. might be one or two on there. And she did say that she's a. Uh, willing to sell hats over here and she has a lot holy cow it's just this wow these some of these are cool well i've been watching you yeah you've been watching us try and sell hats huh yeah. 
I mean, we sell a pretty good many. Do you have a lot of hats listed, Beverly? Um, I have some that kind of dwindled down. But which means so, they're selling, right? Yeah, they're selling. So, well. Okay, definitely. Uh, like if you don't, if you don't want to mess with these hats, we'll we'll definitely be able to. I think we could probably strike a deal on hats. Okay. If you if you're interested in selling them, because we like to sell them. I, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll want to. So many that I'm willing to. Okay. And I just want to look through them real quick and just sure. see, kind of get a feel for what you have in there. All right. And then we also have, I'm not sure how much of this electronics I'm going to want. I've kind of, ooh, I've kind of started getting away from the big, heavy receivers and stuff, unless maybe they're so vintage. Let me know if any of your viewers are interested. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to move it. Oh, that's that 2DS you were talking about, huh? Yeah. Did Did you have a charger for this or I not? I do not. That's my problem. Okay. I think I. I tried the other night to find one. I know we have one because Molly has, Molly a, 2DS, has a 2DS, so we could at least test it. But we might, if we bought this, we'd probably have to just order one. I'm yeah. sure they're not too expensive. Yeah. What do you think it's so far, Candace? Um, we're definitely we're buying this bag of clothes for. So good because I just gotten a, a deal from. Mm -hmm. Some people that I'm doing a consignment kind of sale mm -hmm. because they owned the bluffs and the, and sold it. And so everything that was left in the pro shop, you're getting. I'm getting. So these wow. clubs and three hundred and something pairs of glo or gloves. Oh, really? I don't think they're pairs. And oh, okay. So you're doing you're selling it for them? Yeah. On a consignment basis. Yep. That's okay. Good. Oh, that's awesome. And, yeah. That ought to be fairly easy so too. Are you going to store the yeah. stuff too, or they have it stored somewhere for you? Well, I'm probably going to end up with it because just because I like to be in control of right. having to get to it and get it mailed right. in time. And yeah. she lived next door to me, and that poster over there was her husband's, and he died. Okay. He had a stroke and lived a couple of years and died. Yeah. And then the man that she's married to now uh, lost his wife. That's kind of a little, it tells you how many, 114 mm -hmm. in there, and then the second one should tell you how many. Okay. Second page. Oh, that's the uh, other one. Uh, yeah. It's all right. I can kind of see it. Wait, I think yeah. I see a paper down here. Okay. Here's a paper. I've been saying, I've, I've been saying I want some more comics. Yeah. Here's some comics. <laughs> okay. So how much do you want for your comics? Do you well, know? Did you think about that yet? Yeah, I did a little bit, and, um... I'm thinking a hundred. You want a hundred dollars for this? But I'm Let willing take, to take an offer. I'll, I'll take a look at them. We'll, we'll look at them and make a. There was one thing. or two in there that that I had somebody look at and told me they were worth one that was about twenty and a couple of them were worth around ten. Mm -hmm. Which side was that on? I think these. This side here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know if I'm. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm. In, I'm interested in them. We'll see. All right. Well, you give me a good price. Okay. We'll, we'll see. We'll we'll put we'll put together a deal. I'm sure. So we ended up agreeing on I think forty. Forty three. I wanted to pay a quarter a comic, and we got to there. So we're at forty three on the comics, and then now we have Beverly. Can we cut the deal on all the video game stuff right now? Okay. Is that cool? So I've got two Wii's. I've got the boxed Wii, and then you've got that other Wii that's in that little tub and the controllers and all that stuff. And then we've got, you You had kind of noticed this was a little better than the rest. You're right, Mario Sunshine. I looked at the disc, it's pretty good. I think that's ready to roll. Then we've got a uh, DS Lite. And we've got a 2DS. I don't think either one have power supplies. And then we've got, and we got a bunch, oh, these are like Bible things or, or something. CD, Bible on CD. Okay, and then these games look, I mean, there's some decent ones like Star Wars Battlefront 2, that's pretty decent. I was asking $2 a game. Okay, and then what what were you wanting for uh, these two cons these two handhelds here? I think I had. 
Like a lot of, like most of these Wii games, Wii Sports are always decent. You got, looks like you got a couple of those here. And then some of the rock bands can be okay. And some of these other ones will be decent, like uh, pack in, lot up with the system maybe, or lot up by themselves. I don't know. Okay. Um, you know what? Okay. Yeah. What do you want for these, for these uh, little consoles? Or did you have them written down? She was probably on that list she sent us. Oh, okay. I might have missed it. Okay, so the deal is 10 each on these. Mm -hmm. And then you want two each for your video games. Mm -hmm. And that would be including this. Is that correct? Yeah, we'll do that. We'll, that one in, so. we'll put that one in at two and just sweeten the pot a little bit, huh? Okay. So that would make it um, 86 $86? For, for the games. For, for just the games. For the games. Does that include these or not? No. So that would be 8696106 right. in this box? Yes. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. That'll okay. work. Uh, what about the Wii's over there? I, I know you had 30 on the boxed one. Mm -hmm. And then how about 30? Can you throw in the other one? Mm, how about 10 for it? So you want to do 40 for the two Wii's? Yeah. And then throw in the camera. How about that? That's a deal. Are we good on that? That's a deal. All right, let's write that down. I got it. You got it? They're both keeping it. Beverly is an extremely organized, organized. and <laughs> she's writing every, like she's keeping track. I like this. Yep. She had a price list for us before we got She it. did. It was yeah. good. This is, this is a pleasurable shopping experience for me. Tell them for five a book. I'll do that. Okay. So we're buying the Buffy books for $5 a book. What about the... Uh, CDs. CDs. Or DVDs. That's what DVDs. Just, Where are they at? They're over here. It's just the complete series. Oh, so Buffy? Seasons one through seven. And I did look at the first season and there, there's no scratches. Oh, okay. That's a pretty nice looking set. I'm trying to find that exact set. What were you asking for these, Beverly? Maybe I, I could. 10. Somebody we'll go ahead and pay 10. That's fine. Okay. Is that good for yeah, you? All that's right. Fine. I think 10's fair. And Candace, you got the golf clubs at 30? Candace, that little pet spy thing sells for about 40, you think? Yeah. Beverly said 10. What do you say? I'll do it. Do it. All I'm right. going to put it on Pippin. No, no you're not. <laughs> Is that a dog shocker? It's a dog trainer. <laughs> no, is it a shocker? I don't know what it is. Oh, my God. The viewers are I should have pulled out a, a toy for Pippin. <laughs> okay. Well, we're going <laughs> to test it by putting it on your neck, okay? Sarah has something on her two dogs next that she trains them with. Uh, Beverly, I have three video cameras here. Make me an offer I can't refuse. Okay. Uh, what do you think? Uh, Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Done. Let's set them down on the floor next to the Wii stuff. Cameras twenty-five. Yep. Okay. Three cameras at twenty. Pet spy ten. Yeah. Yep. We're making a list, and they're they're both making a list. Yeah, we can double check each other. Yep, that's good. All right, Beverly just pulled this out and said, "Please take this. I don't want it. What is it?" Because I don't even know what it is. Oh, these are is. oh these are old processors. These are computer processors. Yeah, like th that. this is that old Pentium two processor that was like a slot that would slot in like sideways. Mm -hmm. What is this? That is a uh, that's like a remember the old zip drives. It would um, hold. It's similar to that. Yeah. That's called a jazz drive, and it's got the expansion card for it. These are ink cartridges or something, right? Are they breakers? I, I would think it's more like a breaker. They look like breakers, but they're weird. It's like a push button breaker. Mm -hmm. I think that's what it is. I think those are breakers. All right. All right. Yeah. A little throw in. I like a throw in. That's a yeah. That's good vibes. All right, y'all, I had to switch over to phone because the GoPro was dead and I didn't bring any extra batteries. But we'll just review everything we're getting because I think we're done for now. Um, we're getting this box, this box, that bag of hats. There's 18 hats in there, right, Candace? Yep. And all this stuff over here, two Wii's, four video cameras. There's comics. And then all that stuff there. We're not buying the toys, are we? No, we've got the Buffy books and the steak knives. Buffy books, steak knives. Oh. 
That's a nice Bible. Yeah, it's pretty. Uh, how much for the Bible, Beverly? Um, sell it for five. Five? Okay, put five on your, uh, y'all add five to y'all stuff. Okay. And then we're getting these, these cool steak knives. Good chance we're keeping at least some of them, if not all. There's 16 of them. They're not, yeah, they're nice. Yeah, we don't need 16. Hell, we could, we could use like eight of them and sell the other half if we wanted. Uh, we are buying the golf clubs. Are we buying anything past here? No. no. So everything's up here, right? Buffy tapes. Yeah, we have the we Buffy. Have them up here. Yeah. Computer parts. Computer parts. Or something. Yeah, it looks like another, probably, that looks like another CPU. Okay. All right. Cool. That's a, that's another throw in. Yeah. Well, thank you, Beverly. Appreciate that. I think we're done here today. So our total is what? 326 Beverly. Yep. Does that sound right? Yep. Both of them. And uh, Beverly said she wants to be our gal. <laughs> <laughs> so, does that sound nice? <laughs> it does. It sounds way better than having than me talking about my guy. But I don't like they, they, that's weird. I'll have a, oh, Candace might not like the gal part. It does though. not bother me. She you don't care? I might not even think twice about it. Wow, that kind of bothers me that you that you aren't bothered. But okay, whatever. <laughs> See how it's supposed to work. Beverly brought out this mood thing where you put your fingers on Biotech here. Biotech mood light. Yeah, and yeah, it's no. Uh, it's is set it? on GSR. Okay. Well, well, okay, you only had a no, dollar on that. Yeah. We'll put that in there. Go ahead. Okay. So now we owe Beverly 320. And, and it's like six batteries in there. Okay. <laughs> Now, oh, I can use that maybe to measure Candace's mood before I ask oh, her some, look, certain she things. she did change the color. Ooh. What look kind of mood me, is she I'm in? all red and green and yellow. Ooh, I like it when look, you get like that. It's pulsing. Oh, you're pulsing? Okay. We got to go, Beverly. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> okay, we are back. And Candace, uh, this is much later. We've been doing some cleaning in here and whatnot, which I'll show you all in a minute. But I said, Can't, what you about to do, Candace? She, she said, uh. I'm about to dip my dog. I'm dipping my dog. <laughs> that sounds like my it's... My dog spoon. That sounds like it's uh, slang for some dipping the dog. Uh, <laughs> it might be. I'm sure it is. I'm sure, I bet it's an urban dictionary. Yeah. I'm trying to dip my dog. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds so dirty. Yeah. Oh, boy. But, uh, yeah, when we got back, we were like... Or on the way back, actually... I was like, Candace, that unlisted shelf has been bugging the hell out of me for quite a while now. And her, too. Yeah. Because our, our, our... It gets overwhelming. It gets junky. Like, there were things underneath things that I would have listed, but they were underneath things, you know? Right. And it, it just got junked up. It, it happens. It's happened a couple of times now. Yeah. So... We went through and we totally cleaned up. We, we took every single thing off of these unlisted shelves. Yep. And I would say, what, 80% of it, 90% of it, we donated. Yep. And we did put some of the stuff back. Like there's some doubloons and some other odds and ends. This, this. There, there's a few things. I did keep some cards. We have cards and binders here. But other than that, pretty much everything else we donated. Mm -hmm. And for the time being, I'm going to use this top shelf for overflow storage for shipping stuff. Uh, I'm going to move those over here too. I need, I just need more space for shipping supplies. And one shelf just ain't cu quite cutting it. So, uh, But the rest of this stuff is the stuff, for the most part, it's the stuff we just got from Beverly. And, and once we actually put her put the stuff on the shelf, it don't look like that much anymore, does it? I know. <laughs> <laughs> Golly, Beverly, you got us, man. You ain't hardly buy anything. <laughs> no, where is everything we bought? I'm joking. Of course, <laughs> there's the hats and that's yeah. the video games and some of the uh, computer stuff she threw in. And yeah, that's yeah. just all kind of spread out. But now, pretty much everything, or I'll, I'll say everything on the this shelf. We just come over here and grab it and list it. And it's not, we don't have to wade through a bunch of crap anymore. So, yeah, yeah I feel pretty good about that. We've been needing to tackle this for a while. So, again, uh, if Be Beverly, if you're watching, it was a lot of fun going through uh, 
through all that stuff today. I appreciate you letting us come out and do some shopping with you. Yeah, it was fun. And she said, she did say, I don't know if I captured on camera. She said that she wants to be our gal. Oh, no, I did capture that. I'm sure I did. She wants to be our gal. So Beverly is now our gal. We have a gal now. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of like the sound of that. I'm sure you do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Well, Candy, ooh, how'd that your dog? That shiny little spoon now. Man. It was so tarnished, y'all. Wow. Yeah. yeah, grab one of the other ones because they're all the same. They all look, wow, that is impressive. Man, can, can is she going to bump the price up a couple of dollars now? Look. Look at that. Before and after dipping your dog. Yeah. What happens? Everybody needs to dip their dogs. Yeah. Look at that. Man, that looks amazing. Yeah. Oh, that's magic. Yep. Okay. All right. Dip your dog then. Yep, I did. <laughs> All right. Well, that's going to be it for this one. Uh, I hope everyone had a great weekend. We're going to try and I think we're def I think we're going to go out to some sales tomorrow. We definitely are in case it's not supposed to rain. So I don't know what else would stop us. It's going to be cold. No, the weather's nice after t today. Oh, like okay. tomorrow's lows like in the fifties or some crazy stuff. So it's going to be perfect garage sale. Yeah. Weather. All right. I think that's why there was none today. They're just like, oh, well, I'll just, it's going to be cold. Let's just do it Saturday. Yeah. yeah. So, okay. Cool. So we, we got had the opportunity to go source from Beverly today instead of hitting garage sales. And going to buy from Beverly worked out way better than the garage sales probably were. Oh, yeah. And less driving around and we got some good stuff. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy. Happy mm -hmm. with the deals. Yeah. So that's going to be it for this one. Thanks a bunch for watching, and we will see you all again very soon. Bye, y'all.